Hello viewers, welcome to Dr. Neil's Dental School. Today I am going to show you the injection molding technique with heated composite. This technique is the modern technique of composite restoration to make the composite strong and stable. As a result, we can get very long lasting restorations. So let's see how we can do this very easily in our each and every restoration and get long lasting restoration forever. Uh, today I'm going to show this uh, class 1 cavity uh, to use to fill up this uh, class 1 cavities with injection molding technique with heated composite so how we can uh, fill this cavity with injection molding technique so at first I choose the sixth generation bonding system uh, from uh, Kurobe that is called the uh, AC bond which has a uh, self etching primer and uh, uh, bonding system and also I have got uh, clear fill APX high filler content uh, flowable and also clear fill APX uh, packable composite okay first uh, prepare the cavity perfectly uh, there is no residue of uh, um, any carrier spurt so firstly we use uh, the bond uh, self etching primer first so in the dispenser first uh, we drop simple a little bit more or less one bit of primer and uh, in another part one drop of bond then you can close it with light blocking agent that uh, will prevent the premature polymerization of the bonding material okay first we use the primer We use the primer in the both enamel and dentin perfectly and just rub the primer each and every part of the tooth for 20 seconds. This self etching primer might leach in the enamel and form micro and macro tags, which acts as a channel to for better penetration of bonding agents. And in dentin, it conditions the dentin and forms micro and macro tags in the intertubular dentin and a perfect balancing network of the collagen fiber to remove the smear layer and pre preserve smear plug that's why uh, the post operative sensitivity uh, will not occur after the restoration here we're, we're eating we're uh, showing this demonstration on extracted tooth later we'll see in a real patient how we can uh, uh, do complete raising restoration with the uh, initial molding technique okay the 20 second is gone now the decalcification of uh, uh, calcium hydroxyapatite from the both enamel and dentin has occurred so the tooth is ready to take the bonding materials and as we use uh, clearfill AC bond so there uh, AC bond primer so there is no need of use any kind of uh, water or rinse after using the primer so leave it in the primer because it has the unique mdp monomer later when we use the bonding material the bonding material will replace the primer on the top and after we use a uh, little uh, air then the primer will go on so now uh, firstly we use some air blue simply air blue to thinning the primer now we are going to use the bond we're going to use the bond 
each and every part of both enamel and tinted. Now we use some air blue to air thinning of the bonding material and cure it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one is ready. Now we're going to apply the second coating of bonding, which act as a wetting agent, and it will help the flowable to make perfect distribution of the flowable composite each and every part of the dentin and animal part. So first, before applying the uh, flavorable composite, we have to push a little bit of composite from the syringe to remove any kind of air bubbles. Now, we're going to put flavorable in the floor of the dentin perfectly. Okay, more or less it's 10 to 20 percent of flowable. Now we are going to put a heated packable composite over it. Now, firstly, we're going to use the heated composite, packable composite, and just a little bit we just put on the bond of the bond and flowable. Just Simple, we just push downwards and we can see the flow come sounded soundingly from the packable pressure from the cavity. And later, we will use another packable composite. Heated packable composite, which will give the animal shade. So now we're going to pack again slightly pressure. Don't pressure too much. Just press it and remove the ball burnishers to touching with the each edge now you can make the bits and fishes as there is two natural guidelines And here now we are going to use some brush from center to the cusp to give it a smooth and nicer glazing effect. Each cusp by cusp, you can see.
so we're going to brush for perfect smoothening of the each and every test so there will be no any white marking area after the restoration So there, there is no need uh, to make uh, over uh, pitch and feature cuspations in uh, composite restoration. So most of the part uh, we've done perfectly. Now it's uh, after some brushing and smoothening the each and every part from center to cusp. So you can see the perfect balancing of the cuspation and the glazing effect of the heated composite raising. Now we're going to cure it together. For firstly 20 seconds. So after setting, I can see the perfect restoration with uh, no overhanging and uh, no white marking showing the color. Here we can see. So here I put some uh, tints on the bits and features to give it a more natural look. It's not necessary to give uh, tints uh, to, in the bits and features, but we can use to more to look at more natural. You have to remove the excess tints. with the brush, smooth stroke of brush. Now we can see that is uh, more perfectly done. Okay, now uh, we use some cleaning. Now we're going to put some light on it. For another 20 seconds or more.
So now we can see the after completion of uh, restoration uh, done with injection molding technique, done with injection molding with heated composite, and uh, we can see the literally difference the perfect laziness of the restoration with each and every part and we cannot see any kind of demarcation of white line anywhere but perfectly glazed and balanced restoration Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you will like it all very much. For more videos, stay with us. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Let's grow together. Thank you.